Hello students, myself Archana Rati, your botany mentor and today I have uh, come here to discuss how to write your CBSC paper effectively. So first of all, let's understand what is the marking scheme, what is uh, the time allowed in the paper. So you will be having two long hours for 35 marks and you will be having 13 questions. That means you will be having 120 minutes, that means approximately 9 to 10 minutes for each question. That means time is not a thing, it's not a problem. You have enough time for attending the question paper, right? Now, the thing is how you have to effectively write the paper. So, let's discuss that. When um, this uh, discussion has uh, taken me to the point when I was a, a biology student, and let me tell you, I scored 96 marks in the boards, and I have worked very hard for uh, achieving these marks. So let me tell you what strategy I adopted for uh, the biology paper. First of all, Vita, let me tell you that when the question paper will come in front of you, spare two to three minutes to read the question paper. I am sharing with you all the points which I have done in my biology paper. So I am not uh, uh, guiding you right now as a teacher, but as a student what I did. So, first of all, when the question paper will come in front of you, two to three minutes to read the whole question paper. Just be calm and composed and read the whole question paper very effectively, wisely. Then, pick up a pencil, not pen, pick up a pencil and then tick mark on the question. Make signs, make star on the questions which are 100% sure. That means you are 100% sure that this question is like uh, I will get full marks in this question. Then just tick right on those questions on which you will have to think and then you will have to write. Okay. So you have decided that okay I have read all the questions and I will do those questions first in which I am 100% sure and I will then do the question on which I have to think a bit. Okay. Then. Yes, this is important. This my husband shared with me that uh, what he did in his board exam. He wrote the important points before starting the question paper. What he did, he did that uh, suppose for instance, I have uh, chosen the question number 10, right? So, there is, a, there is a sheet given at the behind of the paper which is uh, free, which is rough, right? So, take a pencil and then write that, okay, this question, Suppose the question is talking about the evil quartet, right? So, jot down, uh, jot down all the points, key points. What is evil quartet? Uh, you know that habitat fragmentation, right? Species invasion. So, write the key points. Write the key points in front of every question. And then when you will start writing the answers, you will have all the key points in your mind and you'll have to just extend those key points in the answer. So what I'm suggesting you here that before starting, before starting writing the question paper, just give two to five minutes to the whole question paper. Read the question paper carefully, then make marks on the question paper on which uh, questions you are sure and then write the important points, the key words behind every uh, in front of every question so that you will have an idea while writing the answer that oh these are the key points. Then after this what you have to do then the next important thing is how to write your answer. The next important thing is how to write the answer. So let me share with you how I wrote my answers. First of all, beta, those days are gone when the students used to think that let's fill five pages and if I will fill five pages, then the examiner will be impressed and will give me the uh, marks. No, those days are gone. You do not have to fill the pages. The examiner will be impressed by the representation. You do not need to fill five pages. If, if the question is of five marks, you 
uh, can go for 2 pages or 2.5 pages but the important thing here is your representation. Suppose for instance, suppose you have selected to do question uh, section uh, this uh, C which is of uh, 5 marks and the question is saying define logistic growth right with suitable examples. This is a 5 marks question from the chapter organisms and population and the question is saying define logistic growth with suitable examples and diagrams. Now, what uh, are the things while I, you are watching this video, just close your eyes and think what are the important key points you are going to mention in this question? Have you thought? Okay, now let me tell you. Logistic growth. If this question comes in 5 marks, how are you going to write it? First of all, very important keywords, right? So, first of all, you will be writing that this is the real growth curve. This is the real growth curve. It represents the real growth curve, okay? Then, when this growth, when this kind of growth will be applicable? When the resources are limited. When the resources are limited, okay? Then, this kind of growth curve takes into account two major things. One is environmental resistance, environmental resistance and the second one is carrying capacity. Second one is carrying capacity, right? So, the next you have written all the keywords in front of the examiner. The examiner will be instantly impressed. You have mentioned four important points explaining logistic growth. You have not written the pothas in this, right? You just have mentioned four keywords and the examiners will be impressed. Oh, the kid know this. Then what you have to do the next? You have to explain in one line that what is environmental resistance, right? In one line, what you will say? All those factors which prevents the organism to achieve its R value is environmental resistance. It can be biotic or it can be abiotic. In biotic, you will write predation, uh, this uh, amensalism, parasitism and in uh, abiotic factors, you will write limited resources. Then you will explain carrying capacity. You will say that every ecosystem has a capacity to uh, hold, right? a specific number of uh, individuals that is called as the carrying capacity of the ecosystem. So, you have written all the key points and you have explained a bit, right? Then, what you will do? After that, you will mention the equation. You will mention the equation explaining the logistic curve. dn by dt is equal to, dn by dt will be equal to rn k minus n upon k, right? Then after writing the equation, you will explain that here r is the, what is r here? Natural rate of intrinsic increase. Then you will say k is the carrying capacity, n is the population size. Then what you will do next? You will draw the graph. You will draw the graph, right? After drawing the graph, you will explain the graph also. That's, this is sigmoid or S-shaped graph. Then you will say it has three phases, lag, log and the stationary phase. Then after that, you will cite an example that logistic growth is the more, most realistic growth curve which is uh, seen in nature because the resources are mostly limited, this much. And if you will write these things in a flow chart, right, you have this is very important. This is very important strategy that do not write things into paragraphs. Go with the flow chart because and yes, write neatly. Write neatly. When you go to a restaurant and you eat food, if the food is not served properly, half of your appetite got lost. But if the food is served nicely, you get a uh, delicious food.
likewise the examiner when he sees that oh the things are written in order orderly manner and neatly then he is impressed half right the half of the work is done over there so what i'm saying you that what i'm telling you sorry that you have to mention the things in floral form in floral chart form you have to mention the thing in the chart form right uh, jot down the points and then if you can make small diagrams right uh, supporting your statement that would be very nice okay so if a question comes in five marks suppose explaining the logistic growth you will first mention the key points then you will give the uh, this uh, graph then you will explain the equation and then you will give the example so this is how you have to write the question paper now from which section you have to start you have three sections section a section b section c section a six questions having two marks each section b six questions having three marks each and section section c one marks only so what i will suggest you that you have to start with section c because it contains five marks question so you i think you have to go with the weightage so when you write when you take the answer sheet first of all mention your section properly in bold letters that you are going to attend section c first so you have taken the answer sheet mention in bold big letters that you are starting with section number c first and then put down the question number properly clearly put down the question number and then attempt the question so that the examiner will be very clear okay then next if suppose you have decided that okay now i am going to attend section b so what you will do, do you will write section b you will write section b in bold letters and suppose in section b you have question number supposedly you have question number 8 9 10 11 12 right so but you want to do question number 12 first so mention properly that i am doing question number 12 first the examiner has no problem in what order you attempt the questions and what questions you are attempting but please kindly mention the question number properly so that the examiner can see oh this question number the student has attempted okay so please beta don't do this mistake some students they just do the question uh, they do the uh, answers half as early they do not mention the section they do not mention the question numbers that makes that irritates the examiner right so mention your section very properly and in whatever manner in whatever order you want to attempt the question attempt that no problem but make it a point that you have to mention the question number properly suppose after question number 12 you want to do question number 8 you know it much well so mention that now you are doing question number 8 then suppose you are uh, after that you are uh, going to after that you are going to attempt the section number c so if you are going to attempt section number c after that mention properly section c okay and then the question number right or section a then the question number so what i am telling you here beta whenever you reach to the center to give your examination first of all reach on time reach on time then have calm composed and positive state of mind no worries then first of all just look at your roll numbers very carefully sometimes we look the roll at the roll numbers half as early and enter into the wrong room that uh, you know increases up our heartbeat so look at your roll numbers in the room number you have to enter in very carefully then go then you'll get at the question paper take 5 minutes because you do not have shortage of time right 2 hours for 35 marks are more than enough read the question paper very carefully 
then mark that okay this question i know very care i know very well i will attempt this question first then um turn your question paper and behind the question paper write all the keywords of all the questions so that while writing the answers you will have all the keywords in your mind and you will not forget them then when you attempt the paper mention every section properly that now you are attempting section b now you are attempting section c now you are attempting section a and mention the questions very properly then there is no need to fill the number of pages if the question is of two marks four lines are more than enough and the question if asking in one word then it would be more than you know more than good right so three marks five lines enough and make it a point that you have to write the answer point by point and underline the keywords then to support your answer you can make small diagrams that will impress the examiner okay so keep all these things in the mind and your uh, paper will be good okay so no need to worry is just prepare your uh, syllabus three chapters very carefully and uh, all the chapters given in the term two carefully and uh, make the strategies how will you attempt the paper and you will do good okay so i hope this would help you and all the all the very very best thank you all